How to make the most of your singleness? Become your own best friend. Before you roll your eyes at me, okay? I'm not trying to get Patricia on you. Let me tell you something. My life changed when I went to therapy. Oh, no, therapy. When I started to be there you go, first red flag. Her life changed when she went to therapy. Yeah, she became even more mentally deranged, obviously. Become nice to myself when I started to become my own friend. When I started to see what I was allowing, see what I was thinking, cleaned up my self-talk. But mainly, my life changed when I started to be nice to myself. Isn't that crazy? Like, that should be... So what is she saying? That she used to be mean to herself? Did she used to beat herself up because... I mean, that's what everybody does, right? That's what normal people do, is uh, when you screw up in life or you feel like you make mistakes, uh, you you know, you know self-reflect. And you think, hey, how can I have done that better, right? You kind of beat yourself up, and that's okay. You know why? Because that's what builds character, okay? That's what builds character. But what a lot of these uh, <laughs> modern women do these days is they just bypass any accountability and any blame they don't want, you know, oh, keep that away from me. And they just tell themselves, hey, I love myself no matter what. I don't care that I hurt all these people. I don't care that I'm a rotten person. You know, as long as I love myself. Right? And they never do any work on themselves. And then they just become worse and worse. Right? And then when friends start to call them out or family members might be like, hey, you know, you're kind of being terrible to some of us. And, you know, we don't really like it. We don't appreciate it. Oh, I better go see my therapist about this. And then you tell your therapist some one-sided story. Your therapist is like, this is what I want you to do. Get a spiral notebook and write, I am a good person 25 times per day for the next 10 days until you have it in your head. You're a good person. You know, yeah. <laughs> if you ever meet a chick and she mentions she has a therapist, dudes, run. Don't even bother sleeping with that chick. She's crazy. Run. I that in high school. Why did I need to learn the volume of a... Circle, treat yourself like your own best friend. Enjoy your own company. Find things that you love to do just with yourself, by yourself. And it doesn't have to be crazy. Learn how to enjoy your own company. Um, yeah, there are people out there like that. We call them loners, right? And there's nothing wrong with being a loner. I mean, I'm kind of a loner myself. I, I like I, I, I like doing things on my own a lot of times, right? Because I'm, you know, I have this crazy social media following these days. I get recognized from time to time, especially when I'm in Vegas, like right now. Um, I, you know, I'm usually socializing in club, you know, taking students out, and uh, sometimes I just want to be by myself, right, and just do my own thing, or just hang out with Cash and Gizmo. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I don't think you need a therapist to enjoy your own company. So, is she saying that she hated herself before this, didn't like her own company, and was codependent? Get me wrong. Some days I cannot, I can't stand myself. Okay. Sometimes oh, I'm like, what the f you mad about now? But for the most part, I love my own company. Come your biggest hype girl. Fall in love with, oh my God, barf saying that. Fall in love with spending time by yourself, doing things you love. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. I have hobbies. Okay. My hobbies include taking too many CBD gummies, watching Love Island, and buying I don't need online. A 13 step skincare routine. I love it. Then do that. Who's stopping you from doing that? The magic, oh, the boogeyman, the magic. The, the patriarchy that's stopping me from enjoying myself. I, I, yeah, this is just really sad to hear. I mean, you yeah, know, because I feel like a lot, and she's young, man. This is what really saddens me. So I don't want to go too hard on her, right? She's still young. But it saddens me that she's even making a video about this, right? This is not something that you even need to bother to tell anyone. You, you, <laughs> you know, like a friend, much less a video and broadcast it out to everybody. This is just something you do, right? It's just something you do. But it goes back to why I always say like a lot of these modern women want credit for things that you're just supposed to do as a, as a grown adult, right? You'd be like, hey, I charged my phone today, man. I got the, I got the plug in the charger, man. Woohoo! Accomplishment. Oh, man, I want a trophy. You know, it's, these are just things you're supposed to do. You don't need to brag about it. You don't need to tell anyone about it. You just do them because in life, you will have bigger fish to fry. You have better things to do, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, if you have like really nothing to do, then obviously you're going to, you know, and you haven't accomplished anything in life, then yeah, you're going to start praising yourself for the most, for the smallest things, <laughs> right? So, um, 
Yeah, it's sad that she's basically just talking about how she wants to be able to hang out with herself and uh, not hate herself. So, uh, And I've said this before, that a lot of people out there, I mean, this is statistically true that um, there's been an alarming rise in especially young people like herself uh, with uh, mental disorder, right? Mental disorder. So we have a lot of people walking around there, walking around out there, young people especially, uh, that have psychological issues that need attention but are not getting help because they are being affirmed, to use a woke word, they're being affirmed and enabled by the matrix, by the establishment legacy media, right? By politicians, by Hollywood, right? They're being affirmed and enabled to behave this way and not get help and think that there's nothing wrong with them. Okay, and uh, I'm not talking about going to a therapist. I'm not talking about like swiping your credit card and uh, going over, you know, having your therapist tell you whatever you, you want to hear. No, you really have to get like a psychological evaluation from a trained professional. Okay, a trained professional, not a therapist. Therapist is like a chiropractor, right? I mean, you're, a chiropractor is more qualified for Pete's sakes. I mean, you'll have better luck talking to your chiropractor about your, your problems. At least that person will try to be honest with you. And since most chiropractors are male, uh, yeah, they'll, uh, they'll give it to you straight. Right, unless he's blue pill. However, yes, uh, there has been an alarming rise in the amount of people, mostly young people, that have mental health issues that need to be addressed and should not be ignored. Right? Should not be ignored. Um, because it's just going to get worse. Right? I see this chick, if she doesn't fix herself or if she keeps listening to the lamestream media or her you know, favorite auto-tune uh, hip hop artist, whatever, she's just gonna go down this path of thinking like nothing's wrong with me, I'm okay. Whereas, you know, ten years ago even, this chick might have been brought in, right? They might have like referred her if that if her therapist was uh was a qualified professional, uh he would have recommended or referred her to uh, a real psychologist, right? Where they could diagnose like why does she hate herself so much? What's up with this self-loathing and self-anger, which a lot of modern women and feminists have these days, right? There's a lot of self-anger, self-loathing, and self-hatred. But instead of getting help, what do they do? They just project it on everyone else. It's men's fault. It's the patriarchy. It's toxic masculinity. Ugh, that's, we have to destroy these things because I'm too cowardly to go fix myself and hold myself accountable. <laughs> and that's essentially what it is at the end of the day. But as always, gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to share, please drop them in my comments below, and I will see you. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well. Also, hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube, and especially whenever I live stream. A lot of you guys complain like, oh, I missed the live stream. Why didn't you tell me? It's like, dude, you gotta hit the notification bell. That way, you'll be notified like that anytime I live stream, right? So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And for you guys who want to support all of my incredible work I am sharing with you guys, my incredible coaching lessons I'm teaching you guys, all this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill, diamond pill content that I'm sharing with you guys, the best way to support me, best way to show you love me is to jump in my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students out there are cold approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we are making things happen every single week. No matter what is going on in the world, no matter you know, what new presidential administration is taking over, no matter what new virus is taking over, 
doesn't matter. We are out there making things happen and living our lives to the absolute fullest and just meeting the best looking women on the planet. I want you to join us. I want you to become one of us. I want you to learn this stuff. And right now, the first month is only one buck, right? Still only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me. So take advantage of it. And this is the absolute best way to support my work. Support my work. So all you need to do to get signed up is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.